Today on our channel, Life as an Achito, we are going to review Grace Thomas. Girl of the Year 2015. Grace has a trip to Paris and she bakes many macaroons. Now we are going to review Grace and her outfit. So first, Grace has really pretty hair and it's like dark brown with light brown highlights all over. And I love that her, she has bangs to one side, like kind of like um, some of our other dolls. I love how she, her bangs. Kind of like Courtney's bangs. Yeah. And I love her um, brown hair. So you could see the light highlights coming and in. I love how it's so long. Yeah, she has such long, pretty, like straight kind of wavy hair. So I love the color. And I love the braid because I think the braid is so cute. And um, I love how... Yeah, and I like how it's not yeah. the basic braid. It's like um, a different one. And I think it's so cool how it all ties into each other. It makes it look very fancy. And next she has her Paris shirt. And oh, she also has blue eyes and she has freckles. And we'll give you a closer look later. But she has a Paris shirt. And I love how there's like buildings in the back, like kind of like the Paris and form of Eiffel buildings. And Tower, which really stands out because that's a very famous tourist attraction in Paris. And it's just Paris um, de Jamais and it's <laughs> French. And I love her shirt. It's so, I love the glitter. I love how there's two pink lines of glitter over um, the Eiffel Tower. And, and it's pink and glitter, so it really matches her skirt. And I think that this shirt is adorable and perfect when you bring your doll to Paris. And I also love the skirt. It's so fancy. And I it's love so the black soft. bow on the pink skirt. Makes it look so much fancier than it already is. And, um, and it makes it very cute. Yeah, I love um, the feeling on her skirt. It's so soft. I love her shoes. And I love how she's filled with bows. And it's fancy but cute. Because she has a little bow on each um boot and i love how it's gray and soft it's the same feeling as the skirt and i love how these boots they're not like um they're like fashionable boots so i think that is a really cool um thing that comes with grace and i also love her charm bracelet it's so cute and i love that they made this one of her accessories yeah because just like kira she has a bracelet and Let's share all the, Brianna's going to share all the charms on her so bracelet. It has this heart that says Paris on it. We'll give it a closer look when we do an overview of Grace. It has this charm that says American Girl on it. Her, um, her dog. What type of dog? It's, um, bulldog. a French bulldog. French. French bulldog. Yeah, and then after she has, um, her, like, her suitcase on it. She has, um, a macaroon with a bow on it. She has an Eiffel Tower and, and a postcard that says bonjour. And um, that is all the charms on her bracelet. And overall, I think Grace is adorable. And if you're going to Paris, Grace is the perfect doll to bring with you. And overall, I just think that she's not only adorable, but I love how it's all like Paris trends. And I love how American Girl, they make so many Paris sets. So um, I love this, the Paris style. It, Paris is also very into fashion. And that's our review on Grace and her outfit. Now, now we are, are going, going to review Grace's, Grace's books, books one, two, and three. So Grace's first book, I actually read this book a few years ago. And it's so cute. And this is Grace's meat outfit. And she has a light pink beret, just like me. Except hers has a um, black heart on it. And same outfit. And she has a do um that French bulldog. And I love how she's at those Paris cafes. We actually went to cafes like that when me and Brianna went to Paris when we were 10. And Grace, her first time in Paris is when she was 10 too. So we're very similar. And I'm going to read the blurb. Meet Grace Thomas. Grace has big summer plans. Starting a business with friends. When mom announces a trip to Paris, Grace gets on board, but her trip isn't all she hoped it would be. She and her French cousin aren't hitting it off. 
and Grace's friends back home have started a business without her. Can Grace step out of her comfort zone, try a few new things, and come up with a successful idea of her own? Also, there's a Grace movie. Um, me and Brianna watched it, so you should check that movie out. It's called Grace Stirs Up Success. And now Brianna is going to review the second book. So the second book is called Grace Steers It Up. The first book was just called Grace, which is also a pretty good title since it was the first book. And this is her and her two best friends baking macaroons with her. How sweet. Um, When I went to Paris, me and Gianna tried so many macaroons and we just wanted more the whole time. And I love how there's so much different flavors to choose from. Me and Gianna's was chocolate. And that's actually our profile pic of our YouTube channel. It's me and Brianna eating macaroons in Paris. I was eating like my first macaroon ever and it tasted very good. And the picture is actually shot in Paris and that's our profile picture. So... Go check it out. So now we read the blurb to Grace Steers It Up. As Grace starts a baking business with her two best friends, she quickly learns that working with friends isn't always easy. Neither is owning a dog, especially one like Bon Bon, who is having trouble adjusting to her new home. Grace tries to give Bon Bon the freedom and playtime she needs. Can she also give her friends what they need to get their business off the ground? Wow, this seems like such a big problem, but I'm sure Grace will always have a way to solve it. Also about Grace, she loves baking. That's her talent. And she's also joined like those kid baking competitions on TV. And that's a little bit more about what Grace loves to do. And her grandparents own a bakery. So that's also why she's very into baking. And this is her third book, Grace Makes It Great. So, um, this is a close-up on the book. Oh, yeah, and also all of Grace's um, outfits she's wearing on all three covers of the books. They all, um, they used to buy them back in 2015, all of Grace's um, outfits. Yeah, so you can buy all of them. I bet you can still find it in other places now, though. So, it's called Grace Makes It Great, and it's her um selling um desserts at a stand of course of macaroons we actually have a my life cake stand yeah i bet grace would love baking there so i'm gonna read the blurb grace makes it great the baking business is going well for grace and her friends almost too well they can barely keep up with their orders and learn all the rules of business luckily grace is full of big ideas to make la pizzette Pastisserie, a sweet success. I think that's another word for sweet success. Um, but when Grace's grandparents' bakery runs into trouble, Grace is devastated. Can she and her friends put their heads together to save the other business they love? Wow. Um, again, I hope Grace figures this out, which she probably will. She always has big and bright ideas that can save the bakery. And that's our review on Grace's book. What I also love about Grace's books is that on like the last few pages of each book, there's a French dictionary of all the French words they used in the book. So I loved when I was reading this book, I loved um, trying to sound out the French words because it was so adorable. Now we are going to review our Paris outfits. So I'm going to go first. And just like Grace, like I mentioned earlier, I have a light pink barrette. And it's really cute. I actually bought this in Paris. And next, um, I do actually have highlights just like Grace in my hair. But next, I have a pair of shirt. I actually bought this pair of shirt from Paris. And I love the glittery Eiffel Tower on it and macaroons. And I just like how Grace has these um blue buildings on the back of her shirt. I have little buildings all over mine to ch as the Notre Dame and more. And my shirt overall, it's um, it says something in French up here in cursive, and then it says Paris and glitter, just like the Eiffel Tower. So I decided to wear a really Parisy shirt for this review. Next, I have I act. This is actually Grace's skirt for girls. So me and Grace are wearing the same exact skirt right now, the little bow and the same kind of feeling on the pink skirt. So me and Grace are being twinsies. And I'm also wearing black pants 
And I also got this um, Eiffel Tower charm bracelet from Claire's. And they come in different colors and they're glittery and they're just like Grace's charm bracelet. So we both have a Paris charm bracelet, me and Grace. And lastly, I have these Paris earrings and they're Eiffel Tower and they're really cute and there's a glittery, glittery heart too. And I love um, how it sparkles and it's how it's like kind of hoop earrings. And I have one here too. And that is my outfit. Next, I'm going to explain my Paris outfit. First, I have this hot pink barrette that I also got from Paris and it feels really soft. Next, I have this Paris shirt actually from Ameri the American Girl doll store. So you can buy it from the store or you can go on their website and buy it. And I got this for Christmas. It has the Eiffel Tower and it says bonjour at, uh, I don't know, something in French. And um, I love all the flowers. And this shirt actually comes with this skirt that also um, you can buy at the American Girl Doll store. The outfit comes together. And just like how um, the... The, there, there's flowers on the shirt. Um, there's also matching flowers on the skirt, which I think's really pretty. And I'm so happy I got this from the American Girl doll store. Yeah, it was a part of American Girl. Um, like last year they sold like a Paris collection, but it wasn't a part of Grace's collection since Grace was already retired at that time. Yeah, and I also um have um these um Eiffel Tower earrings. There's like an Eiffel Tower on it, which I think. It's so cute. And um, next, I have this charm bracelet that also matches Grace's. And just like Grace's, mine has a bunch of different charms on it. I have ballet slippers. And actually, ballet is very popular in France. So a lot of um, words that ballerinas say um, are is are French when they're explaining ballet moves. I have this music note charm. And I have this cat in a cup charm, which I think is very cute. And I also just have pink comfy pants and um that is my Paris outfit And what was your favorite outfit, ours or Grace's? Bye! Bye thanks for watching! Au revoir! Wow, these paintings are so creative! Now, how do I find the Mona Lisa? Oh, look! There's the map. It says to go to the left. This line was so long, but I finally made it. Now to see the Mona Lisa. Oh, I can't see the Mona Lisa. Everyone is blocking it. 
This place is crowded. I wish I were tall enough, but sadly, I'm just 18 inches. <laughs> I can help you see the Mona Lisa, Grace. Wait, are you the year doll of 2021? I'm the year doll of 2015. I am, and I have a plan. Just go on top of me and you'll be able to see the Mona Lisa. Wow, I could see the Mona Lisa. Let me just take a pic of it so I can post it on Life as an AG doll. And posted. Well, I better leave to Australia now to see the rest of the whole wild world. A vlog, Kira. Bye, mate. Wait, how am I ever going to get out of here? It's so crowded. Brianna actually took this photo herself of the Mona Lisa at the Louvre in Paris, France. And there's a really funny story of how this photo was taken because in the Louvre, um, the whole room was empty except there's the Mona Lisa picture right there. And it's so crowded and everyone's like, on top of each other, which is why um, it was so great that Brianna got this photo and what Grace's skit was based off on. So these are pictures me and Brianna took in Paris ourselves. And here's us at the Louvre. And there's so many different cool sculptures there. And the pigeons look kind of different than they normally do. And that's outside the Louvre. It's really big. And here's pretty arches. This is a picture I took from the top of the Eiffel Tower. What a beautiful view.